Hi, it's Erin from Achieving Balance Kinesiology. Today's little video is on muscle testing. Hopefully, at the end of the video, um, you will be able to master the art of muscle testing and have some ideas on how you can use it in your everyday life to achieve, I guess, the best balance that we can achieve. Questions. Okay, so part two of this little video is how to use muscle testing in your everyday life to actually just work out what is best for you. I often find that there's lots of things that I will use, um, lots of products that I use, lots of foods that I eat, and then there'll be lots of products that I don't use and foods that I don't eat. And a lot of people will ask me questions about, well, how do you decide? Okay, so coming first and foremost, coming from the fact that I've had so much experience within the school systems teaching healthy literacy to kids, I highly recommend that you actually become aware of what is on the ingredients. Um, reading the ingredients on the packet is just as important for the food that we eat as well as the, the products that we put on our skin. Remembering that our skin is the largest organ of our body and has the ability to absorb things in. So as a general rule, if you wouldn't eat it, then I wouldn't be putting it on your body every single day. Um, and then keeping in mind, because it's all about actually achieving a balance um, and having that balance that you feel comfortable with, uh, remember that there are sometimes foods just as much as there are sometimes products. And we know that sometimes there's a big difference between what is natural, um, what is environmental and what is um, within the salons and how that how that has a physical effect on us and our appearance and how that makes us feel too also has an impact that we need to really highlight in what we're muscle testing okay so i'm going to jump back on the other side so i like to use the sway method when i'm muscle testing and using the muscle testing especially if i'm in the supermarket i find that if i have a trolley in front of me and then i can pick some things off the products and I like to just read through the ingredients. And as I'm reading through the ingredients, just with one thing in my hand, I am essentially asking myself the questions that is this product actually going to make me healthy? Is this product actually going to make me sick? Okay, so I would just connect with it. And the first product that I've picked up it is like, these are all hair products because that was the easiest thing to grab um, to show you. The, I've got an intensive um, hair treatment and now this product is actually natural um, and it's got a lot of good things in it. It tests up really good for my daughter. No, sorry, not it tests up really good for my son, but it doesn't actually test up good for myself uh, or for my daughter. Um, so if I say I want to be healthy and I get a clear backwards and I say I want to be sick, And then if I was to go through this, I can actually go down and I can see that one of the big things that I'm sensitive to is actually the fragrance. Okay, so if I had a product that had all those similar ingredients in it, um, that didn't have the fragrance in it, then I probably would test a little bit different. So that's coming back to my own body. Now, the next little thing, I've got a dry hair shampoo. Um, it is... A, like it's not a product that I would use every single day uh, it's definitely has been a savior in the past um, it has again it's writing up that it's all there's a lot of natural things in there there's a lot of things that are really good for um, there's a lot of things that it says no to one of the things that it says no to is sulfates and I know that I'm personally um, sensitive to, um, to sulfates um, and it's got no synthetic fragrance fragrances in it but then again, like when you look at it, it is an aerosol can and there's a few other things that are happening. So if I hold this and I say, I want to be healthy. My body had to think about it. I've got a slight sway forward. I want to be sick. And then I might test up like how much. So once I want to be healthy once a week, I get a big sway. I want to be healthy once a day and my body comes back. So that gives me an indication that something like this within my body's energy is okay for us sometimes, but it's definitely not something that I would use every day. And I'd start to start to feel the effects of having that product every day. Shampoo. 
There's so many different shampoos out there and it is about finding the shampoo that is perfect for you. Um, at this point in time, I've got a um, activated charcoal shampoo. So if I'm again, just looking at the ingredients on the back and I say, I wanna be, I wanna be healthy and it's poured, I wanna be sick and it's back and it's quite clear as day where I might pick up a completely different product. I wanna be healthy saying yes and I want to be I want to be sick and it's saying yes so a product like this is saying that there's some aspects in there that my body or my hair needs um, being that it's a hair product but there's a lot of aspects in that product that will cause me to have a little bit of a reversal as we go at going through um, packets of chips crackers cheeses all those kind of things it's really easy if you're connecting to yourself and your muscle testing to start to narrow down so that it doesn't actually feel overwhelming. And I also find that it is actually really easy. It's a lot easier to say no to something in the supermarket if you get a clear indication that it's not something that is um, welcome within your energy field um, and it is actually going to have that make you sick aspect. And just before we go, I want to just come back to the one aspect, just a, a reminder that I want to be sick doesn't mean that having it once is going to kill you, um, to give you cancer, to give you any sort of illness. Um, it's just saying that that is the negative response to my body's energy um, rather than the positive response. You can essentially do all of the things to just say yes, and it would be a yes, and say no, and come back. To that no i being in the health industry i guess i can connect more with what is going to actually build me up to make me healthier what am i adding um, remembering that you are a product of everything that you have eaten over the last few months like this, this is not magic this is biochemical we're either building ourselves up to be stronger um, or we're bringing ourselves down to be weaker and that makes it an easier decision for me i find when i'm in the supermarket so enjoy, test, have fun. Uh, happy for you to leave me some comments on things that you found surprising that your body wanted more of or things that you were surprised that your body actually wanted less of.